Classical electromagnetism or classical electrodynamics is a branch of theoretical physics that studies the interactions between electric charges and currents using an extension of the classical Newtonian model. The theory provides an excellent description of electromagnetic phenomena whenever the relevant length scales and field strengths are large enough that quantum mechanical effects are negligible. For small distances and low field strengths, such interactions are better described by quantum electrodynamics. Fundamental physical aspects of classical electrodynamics are presented in many texts, such as those by Feynman, Leighton and Sands, Griffiths, Panofsky and Phillips, and Jackson. History The physical phenomena that electromagnetism describes have been studied as separate fields since antiquity. For example, there were many advances in the field of optics centuries before light was understood to be an electromagnetic wave. However, the theory of electromagnetism, as it is currently understood, grew out of Michael Faraday's experiments suggesting an electromagnetic field and James Clerk Maxwell's use of differential equations to describe it in his A Treatise on Electricity and Magnetism 1873. For a detailed historical account, consult Pauli, Whitaker, Pays, and Hunt. <laughs> Lorentz force The electromagnetic field exerts the following force often called the Lorentz force on charged particles F equals Q E plus Q V times B display style math BF F equals Q math BF e plus Q math BF V times math BF B where all boldfaced quantities are vectors F is the force that a particle with charge Q experiences e is the electric field at the location of the particle V is the velocity of the particle B is the magnetic field at the location of the particle the above equation illustrates that the Lorentz force is the sum of two vectors. One is the cross product of the velocity and magnetic field vectors. Based on the properties of the cross product, this produces a vector that is perpendicular to both the velocity and magnetic field vectors. The other vector is in the same direction as the electric field. The sum of these two vectors is the Lorentz force. Therefore, in the absence of a magnetic field, the force is in the direction of the electric field, and the magnitude of the force is dependent on the value of the charge and the intensity of the electric field. In the absence of an electric field, the force is perpendicular to the velocity of the particle and the direction of the magnetic field. If both electric and magnetic fields are present, the Lorentz force is the sum of both of these vectors. Although the equation appears to suggest that the electric and magnetic fields are independent, the equation can be rewritten in term of four current instead of charge and a single tensor that represents the combined electromagnetic field. F mu nu display style f caret mu nu f alpha equals f alpha beta j beta display style f underscore alpha equals f underscore alpha beta j caret beta topic the electric field e the electric field e is defined such that on a stationary charge f equals q 0 e Display style math bf f equals q underscore zero math bf e, where q zero is what is known as a test charge. The size of the charge doesn't really matter as long as it is small enough not to influence the electric field by its mere presence. What is plain from this definition, though, is that the unit of e is n c newtons per coulomb. This unit is equal to v per meter volts per meter. See below. In electrostatics, where charges are not moving, around a distribution of point charges, the forces determined from Coulomb's law may be summed. The result after dividing by Q0 is E R equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 I equals 1 N Q 
I R minus R I R minus R I three Display style math BF E R equals FRAC one four pi var epsilon underscore zero sum underscore I equals one carrot N FRAC Q underscore I left math BF R math BF R underscore I right left math BF R math BF R underscore I right carrot three where n is the number of charges, chi is the amount of charge associated with the ith charge, ri is the position of the ith charge, r is the position where the electric field is being determined, and epsilon zero is the electric constant. If the field is instead produced by a continuous distribution of charge, the summation becomes an integral e r equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 rho r r minus r r minus r 3 d 3 r Display style math BF E R equals FRAC one four pi var epsilon underscore zero int FRAC row math BF R left math BF R math BF R right left math BF R math BF R right carrot three mathem D carrot three math BF R where row R display style row math BF R is the charge density in R Minus R display style math BF R math BF R is the vector that points from the volume element D three R display style mathrm D caret three math BF R to the point in space where E is being determined. Both of the above equations are cumbersome, especially if one wants to determine E as a function of position. A scalar function called the electric potential can help. Electric potential, also called voltage, the units for which are the volt, is defined by the line integral phi r equals minus c e d l. Display style var phi math bf r equals int underscore c math bf e c d o t math d math bf l where phi r is the electric potential, and c is the path over which the integral is being taken. Unfortunately, this definition has a caveat. From Maxwell's equations, it is clear that times e is not always zero, and hence the scalar potential alone is insufficient to define the electric field exactly. As a result, one must add a correction factor, which is generally done by subtracting the time derivative of the a-vector potential described below. Whenever the charges are quasi-static, however, this condition will be essentially met. From the definition of charge, one can easily show that the electric potential of a point charge as a function of position is phi r equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 i equals 1 n q I R minus R I display style var phi math bf r equals frac 1 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 sum underscore i equals 1 caret n frac q underscore i left math bf r math bf r underscore i right where Q is the point charges charge, R is the position at which the potential is being determined, and Re is the position of each point charge. The potential for a continuous distribution of charge is phi R equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 rho R R minus R D three R 
Display style var phi math bf r equals frac one four pi var epsilon underscore zero int frac row math bf r math bf r math bf r mathrm d caret three math bf r where row r display style row math bf r is the charge density and r minus r Display style math bf r math bf r is the distance from the volume element d three r. Display style mathrm d caret three math bf r to point in space where phi is being determined. The scalar phi will add to other potentials as a scalar. This makes it relatively easy to break complex problems down into simple parts and add their potentials. Taking the definition of phi backwards, we see that the electric field is just the negative gradient the del operator of the potential. Or E R equals minus phi R display style math bf E R equals nabla var phi math bf R. From this formula, it is clear that E can be expressed in V per meter volts per meter. Topic: Electromagnetic waves. A changing electromagnetic field propagates away from its origin in the form of a wave. These waves travel in vacuum at the speed of light and exist in a wide spectrum of wavelengths. Examples of the dynamic fields of electromagnetic radiation in order of increasing frequency: radio waves, microwaves, light, infrared, visible light, and ultraviolet, X rays, and gamma rays. In the field of particle physics this electromagnetic radiation is the manifestation of the electromagnetic interaction between charged particles. <laughs> General field equations As simple and satisfying as Coulomb's equation may be, it is not entirely correct in the context of classical electromagnetism. Problems arise because changes in charge distributions require a non-zero amount of time to be felt elsewhere required by special relativity. For the fields of general charge distributions, the retarded potentials can be computed and differentiated accordingly to yield Jeffimenko's equations. Retarded potentials can also be derived for point charges, and the equations are known as the leonard weichert potentials. The scalar potential is phi equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 q r minus r q t r e t minus v q t r e t C R minus R Q T R E T Display style var phi equals frac 1 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 frac q left math bf r math bf r underscore q t underscore ret right frac math bf v underscore q t underscore ret c c d o t math bf r math bf r underscore q t underscore ret where Q is the point charge's charge and R is the position, RQ and VQ are the position and velocity of the charge, respectively, as a function of retarded time. The vector potential is similar. A equals mu 0 4 pi Q V Q T R E T R minus R Q T R E T minus V Q T R E T C R minus R Q 
T R E T Display style math BF O equals FRAC mu underscore zero four pi FRAC Q math BF V underscore Q T underscore ret left math BF R math BF R underscore Q T underscore ret right FRAC math BF V underscore Q T underscore ret C C D O T math BF R math BF R underscore Q T underscore ret these can then be differentiated accordingly to obtain the complete field equations for a moving point particle. Topic: Models. Branches of classical electromagnetism such as optics, electrical and electronic engineering consist of a collection of relevant mathematical models of different degrees of simplification and idealization to enhance the understanding of specific electrodynamics phenomena, cf. An electrodynamics phenomenon is determined by the particular fields, specific densities of electric charges and currents, and the particular transmission medium. Since there are infinitely many of them, in modeling there is a need for some typical, representative a electrical charges and currents, e.g. moving point like charges and electric and magnetic dipoles, electric currents in a conductor etc. b electromagnetic fields, e.g. voltages, the Leonard Weichert potentials, the monochromatic plane waves, optical rays, radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, X-rays, gamma rays etc. C transmission media, e.g. electronic components, antennas, electromagnetic waveguides, flat mirrors, mirrors with curved surfaces convex lenses, concave lenses, resistors, inductors, capacitors, switches, wires, electric and optical cables, transmission lines, integrated circuits etc., all of which have only few variable characteristics. See also Electromagnetism Maxwell's equations Weber electrodynamics Wheeler-Feynman absorber theory Leontovich boundary condition <laughs>